Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Poigie here, um, give you a bit, little bit of my background. So I've been playing this game about eight years, um, always been a pay to win player. Figured I'd give it a shot doing a free to play account, uh, start to finish, take you guys along for the journey. So let's get started. All right, so I ended up picking ships just because I knew I'd never play them and I don't want to accidentally take a premium out at some point. I want to just stick to uh, to the stock stuff. So let's start off by getting rid of the music. So for sound settings, got that 7-1. So for me, volume's all the way up. Music, internet, and radio can go to zero. Music volume and menu can go to zero. Sound effects, we definitely want up. Other players' engine volume all the way up. This is going to help us when we're doing tank car beat. My engine volume, low as possible for the same reason. Gunfire, we definitely want to be able to hear. Don't care much about people spamming the uh, radio stuff. Same with speech. We'll try it at 20, see how we do. Voice warning system. That sounds like a jet thing. Don't know, don't care. Tonight it's definitely zero. We don't need ringing in our ears the whole time we're playing. Hanger sound effects, sure. No. No. Alright, that's it. Should be all set for sound. Alright, now taking a look at our graphic settings. So for us, essentially, I ended up building this PC so it can run pretty much high quality across the board. Uh, the only one I recommend taking away lens flare. Lens flare doesn't happen in real life. It is a product of cameras. And so it'll just take away from the realism and make it a little tougher to see. Other than that, uh, we're not going to run low graphics and no trees and all that bullshit. We're going to run it all the way up. Hopefully make a better video for you guys to take a look at. All right, main parameters. So English speaking, obviously, gamma corrections, fine. Whatever it is, zero is fine. I'm not going to auto log in. We're going to take a look at PostFX settings. So this is one of the vignettes kind of on the corners of the screen here. You can make it darker on the corners or lighter. We want to be able to see everything we can. TPS sharpness all the way up, all the way up, all the way up. Cockpit, sure. And that'll do it. All right, common battle settings. We'll go ahead and do camera shake zero. Sense of flight can be zero. I do want to automatically, automatically join squads. Um, but I don't want to join already active battles, especially when we're doing tank RB. It's going to be important that we get a sense on each map as to when we're going to meet the enemy. And if you're jumping into battles that have already started, uh, you're going to lose that initiative. Turn that one off. Air, air battle settings. We've got aircraft's HUD color. Sure. Great. Sure. Third person, yes. So... Gun targeting distance, this is going to take a little while to get used to, but essentially set it at 800. Um, that's going to help you in head-ons, especially in uh, Air Arcade, to be able to reach guys when their bullets are going to be crossing and not actually hitting you. You can be hitting them. So basically gives you to about 1,600 meters um, to be able to hit somebody. Record, vertical targeting, no. Bomb fuse. I'm going to set for 1.5 right now. That's what I use on Tank RB. Um, bomb series, no. Sure. Whatever. Yep. Uh, mouse aim mode only. Autopilot for gunner. No. So this, and especially when we're doing Air RB, there's going to be times where you want to climb stall um, when a fighter's coming after you, you're in a bomber. So if you're allowing the autopilot to take over for you, it's going to give you level flight. And so it makes it really easy for them at times, um, the fighters, to just sit right behind you where they know your guns can't hit you. So this way you can move around while you're shooting. Yeah, auto rearm. Great. Sure. Yep. Okay, these rectangular radar, whatever. 
And there's a lot more shit since when I started that they get for doing jets. Air fine crosshair. So crosshair I likes a circle. And I want that thing as easy to see as possible. So we're going red. Um, so for indicated airspeed, my recommendation is just use IAS. So TAS is basically your total airspeed. Um, doesn't take into account how much air is going over your wings, which is going to allow you to maneuver. IAS is going to give you a better idea of how much air you have going over your wings. Um, so how easy it's going to be for you to maneuver. Show lead, sure. Yep. Automatic activation of aircraft weapon selection, whatever. All right, that'll do it for air battle settings. All right, ground vehicle battle settings. We're not going to do grass in the tank site. Uh, not too many people do it. It just makes the game a bit tougher than it needs to be. We will have the grass out there when we're outside of the tank sites, so a little bit harder to spot vehicles. Definitely want to see the destruction replay. I usually turn off the hit camera just because I want to get back in the game quicker. Um, so I'm going to leave that off. Sure, destroyed modules. Sure. Countermeasures, fine. Thermal sight. Uh, yeah, we'll go with the white or gray. MO indicator, yep, that was a nice thing that they put in. All right, I guess that's it. All right, battle interface. So HUD can be default. Dark's fine. So for what I end up doing is I basically say everybody on my team's green because green's good. Everybody on the other team's red. Red's bad. And then for my squad mate, I make him like a bright blue just so we can see him. So allies, we're going to do the brightest green we can find, which looks like that one. Enemies, brightest red we can find, just make them easier to see. Same thing here. Strobe, strobe, fuel indication. Um, we want to know how much fuel we have. Ammo, yep. Temperature. Not sure what auto select is, but basically I only want to see a temperature indication when it's uh, overheating. So hopefully that's what that's doing. Uh, we'll show reward messages. Why not? Sure. Yep. All right. That does it for battle interface. Measurement units. I like miles per hour, altitude and feet. Distance in kilometers, just to make it interesting. Climb speed, sure. Temperature Fahrenheit. All right. So take a look at player markers. Uh, show markers, yes. Text, sure. Uh, nickname, fine. I do want to see who I'm going up against, especially with the same guy shooting me down a few times. Type of vehicle they're in, yep. Distance, yep. Title, I'm going to get rid of. So that just basically creates some noise on the screen. Um, doesn't do any good to whether somebody wants to be called a, I don't know, superhero or whatever. So we're getting rid of that. Chat and voice, uh, show chat messages, yep. I'm going to show them for everybody. We're not censoring. That's no fun. There we go. No gamepad. So this one I do. Team A is going to be red and Team B is going to be green. Um, it'll flip back and forth whether you're Team A or Team B, but it's a little bit easier to see in the replays uh, who's fighting who. Don't care about the rest of this. Um, so we want to see any across the board. So if somebody's downloaded a cool skin, we'll take a look at it. Nope. A real name in battle and menu, sure. I'm not afraid. All right, whatever that shit is. And then other settings, subtitles, sure. Screenshot, great. USA. All right, that does it for main parameters and our settings in total. America! Fuck yeah! To say this fucking day, yeah! Beautiful.